Next, we need to identify the classes. So like programs, classes can be seen in T code SE24. If it starts with Z or Y, it is a custom class. Other than that, it is a standard class. If the developers want to use the object-oriented programming style, then classes are, are called. SAP has been promoting the OOPS concept, means object-oriented programming concept for almost two decades and it is the future, means all programmers uh, in future will definitely need to learn the OOPS programming language and they will start writing in, or making use of these classes more often. So if you see in this program, here something is defined as data obj1 type ref to lcl material. So this is a local class. The local class means the class is defined within this program. So if I see here, so here see class, lc class material. So this is a local class. But class can be global as well and it can be standard and custom. So this is an example of a standard global class. That means cl underscore salv table. It is not defined in this report. It is defined in T code SE24. So let me show you in the T code. So if I come to T code SE24, if you see here, and give the class name, I can. It will show us all the methods present in the class. And how do I know whether this is a custom class or a standard class? Just go to the properties, and then you will see who created it. So it was created by SAP. So this is a standard class, and this is a global class. Okay, anything which opens from SE24 is a global class, and anything which is created in the report program itself. For example, if I go here. If I go on the top, oh, let me come down see here. This one, if anything is defined in this report, that means this is local class. This class is available only for this report. It cannot be used in another program. But if you go to this one, this is a global class created by SAP. This can be called in any program or any function module or any report. The global class can be custom or standard. So this is a standard, that means SAP created it. And if I want to see anything look um, created by our uh, custom that means then I can do here say do f4 let's check here and do this so if you see here the class Z it starts with Z it is a custom one and it was created by some user so hope you understand how to identify a local class versus a global class